Since World War II, aircraft carriers have been the core of the Navy's main force, and the Chinese Navy has actually been in the layout of the development of aircraft carrier technology from a very early stage, and the aircraft carrier technology validation facility located in Wuhan, commonly known as the cement aircraft carrier, can now be regarded as the direction of China's aircraft carrier development plans and wind vane, because the facility of any change will predict the future development and direction of China's aircraft carrier. Any change in this facility will indicate the future development and direction of China's aircraft carriers. Recently, foreign media reported that Wuhan's concrete aircraft carrier has undergone a dramatic change. Aircraft carriers are the largest and most complex warships in the Navy, so the technical exploration of aircraft carriers often needs to be explored through the same model structure, waiting for the technology to mature and then load it on the ship to test, which can save a lot of research and development costs, and at the same time can reduce the risk of aircraft carrier development. Therefore, more than 10 years ago, China built a cement aircraft carrier in Huangjia Lake, Wuhan, through this and the aircraft carrier highly similar to the building, to feel the structure and internal design of the aircraft carrier, so as to explore for the development of China's aircraft carriers. From its initial construction to the present day, this cement carrier has gone through many repairs, and the result of these repairs is the construction of the Shandong and Fujian ships, which can be seen as the cement carrier. In the development of Chinese aircraft carriers, it can be seen that the cement carrier is of great significance in the development of China's aircraft carrier technology. Now the cement carrier has ushered in a new expansion project from the satellite photos released by foreign media. The outline of Wuhan cement carrier has been greatly expanded, and the width of its hull has been expanded to a level of about 83 meters, which exceeds the level of the latest U.S. Ford carrier of 78 meters. Because the U.S. Army's Ford class carriers have a wider hull width than the U.S. Navy's Ford class carriers, the full loaded displacement of the U.S. Ford class aircraft carrier has exceeded 110,000 tons. So according to this ratio, the Wuhan cement carrier simulation of the target ship should be more than 120,000 tons of full loaded displacement, significantly more than the United States of America Ford class carriers. In fact, 004 aircraft carrier tonnage at once jumped to 120,000 tons is also understandable, because not long ago China has just test flown two kinds of six generation fighters, which means that China's next generation of aircraft carriers most likely equipped with five-generation ship-borne fighters and six-generation ship-borne fighters at the same time, and whether it is the first flight of the six-generation Shenfei aircraft or Chengfei flight first flight of the six-generation aircraft, the size and weight of its size and weight are significantly larger than the current five-generation aircraft, which it also means that the size and weight of the six-generation carrier aircraft is also larger than the current four-and-a-half and five-generation aircraft and to fit a larger six-generation aircraft, which means that the 004 aircraft carriers must significantly increase the displacement, expand the internal volume of the hull, so from the 003 of more than 80,000 tons, all of a sudden jumped up to the 004 of 120,000 tons, it is also understandable. And from the current refitting progress, the cement carrier this configuration of the island location has obvious changes. From the former starboard side of the middle was moved to the starboard side of the stern its location in the united states ford class carriers are highly similar to no if it is a conventionally powered carriers then it is necessary to design a thick chimney and air intake and considering the considering the location of the conventional engine designing the island in the middle of the starboard side of the carrier can minimize the length of the flue thus minimizing the occupation of the internal space of the hull by the flue as for nuclear powered carriers since they do not need to be designed with chimneys, their islands can be moved aft, so that as much deck space as possible can be freed up for parking and dispatching aircraft. The Type 004 carriers, while they will perform even better, will not move to nuclear power overnight. The real epic making is in the pipeline 005 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. U.S. military observers hit the nail on the head when they pointed out that the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers marking China among the world's top maritime powers. At present, this club, only the United States and France, China's visit to the door will undoubtedly make the entire West tense nerves. According to Bloomberg, Reuters and other foreign media reports, recently China has been in the nuclear-powered ship reactor technology, 
made important progress. The spurt of technology patents declared is the strong evidence behind it. Among them, a patent called a kind of marine reactor pressure suppression and injection system has attracted a great deal of attention from foreign media. It is important to know that small nuclear power plants are designed with limited space and face higher safety pressure. Therefore, strict pressure control and heat dissipation design is particularly important. Here, Chinese researchers have simplified the design by skillfully applying non-energetic pressure suppression cooling technology, significantly reducing the weight of the structure through the integration of circulating water sources and realizing a small but strong design. This innovation means that China has solved the challenge of safety for nuclear power equipment in limited space, paving the way for the reliable application of large surface ships. The media also found out that the patent was filed in 2022. What does this mean? Perhaps it implies that China's new land-based analog reactor has entered the testing phase. As we all know, nuclear-powered carriers have several unrivaled advantages over conventionally powered carriers. First, a nuclear-powered carrier has an almost unlimited range without having to worry about running out of fuel, which makes it capable of supporting long ocean missions. Second, the powerful energy supply provided by nuclear reactors can meet the needs of various sophisticated equipment on board the carrier. If China succeeds in building such a carrier, it will undoubtedly mark a qualitative leap in the overall technological level of the Chinese Navy. And looking back at the development of China's aircraft carriers in the past few decades, from the commissioning of the first aircraft carrier Liaoning to the introduction of the Fujian ship, each step has been a step-by-step, -step, steady and steady. As technology continues to accumulate and innovate, Speculation about the Type 005 super nuclear powered aircraft carrier has become more and more heated. Some industry observers boldly predicted that, according to the current development trend, China's 005 nuclear powered aircraft carriers, which can change the pattern of global naval power, are expected to be officially put into use around 2035. At that time, this deep blue beast will debut in what posture and how to rewrite the maritime power map. Let's wait and see.